Good morning guys. It is Tuesday today. Um, I've just made myself a little bit of breakfast. I've made my smell the <laughs> I've made myself a smoothie for breakfast today. Uh, so in here I just put some unsweetened coconut milk, 40 grams of blueberries and 30 grams of peanut butter. Um, so yeah, just keeping it simple today. The last couple of days I've just been having a coconut yogurt with blueberries and nut granola so I thought I would mix it up a bit today. <laughs> it's still not a very nice day and I really have to go to the post office today like I can't not go so I'm just gonna have to walk in the rain. I'm gonna have to suck it up, <laughs> get my umbrella out and just do it. You never know, there might be like a little break in the weather and it might not rain for me. I might be lucky. Morning Mitzi. Mitz. Mitzi. Oh, I made it. <laughs> I'm out of breath though. I had to like power walk halfway home. Because I could feel um, raindrops on me. So yeah, I just went to the post office and I went to Woolies in the pharmacy. Jay wanted me to get him some magnesium because apparently it's supposed to help with like when you work out, help your muscles or something. And I brought some more blueberries and also got some more LSA One of my subbies on here, Debbie, she recommended I use LSA um, to coat like chicken when you make crispy chicken. So I'm taking your advice, Debbie, I'm using LSA for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm hot now. This is my lunch for today. So I've just made a tuna salad. Um, I've just mixed some mayonnaise into the tuna and I've got avocado, halloumi cheese, uh, sunflower seeds and just some mixed lettuce oh I'm also going to have some of that bread that I made yesterday the cloud bread <laughs> that's funny I curled my hair this morning and made it like look all pretty and I think it's because of the weather like all the curls have just kind of dropped and it looks a hot mess <laughs> that's pretty funny I'm so excited for dinner. I'm making uh, chicken, like chicken snitch, I can't say it, chicken snitch schnitzel. <laughs> chicken schnitzel, that's what I'm making for dinner. I wanted to mention to you guys, I think it's really important when you're like, I don't want to say on a diet, but when you're like, when you're eating healthy, or when you're eating a different way. I hate the word diet, so I'm just gonna try and avoid saying it. But I think you guys know what I mean. When you're eating differently to them, what, or when you're trying to eat a healthier way, um, I think it's really important to try and find different ways to make things that you usually love. Like for example, I really enjoy having granola in the morning on yogurt but the usual granola that I make contains oats and I know with keto you can't really have oats so I made a keto friendly version with just nuts and coconut oil that, that fits into the way I'm eating and another example is I really enjoy having avocado on rye bread but I can't have rye bread so I made cloud bread to, to like compensate I, there was one more Oh, muffins. I really enjoy a nice muffin. Usually I make these amazing like healthy banana muffins, but obviously you can't really have bananas when you're eating keto. So I adapted it and made blueberry muffins. So yeah, I just think it makes it a lot easier to follow a new plan if you adapt recipes to make food that you really enjoy. Like another example is with the chicken schnitzels that I'm going to make tonight. Uh, usually you would use like breadcrumbs, but I am going to use LSA, which fits perfectly into keto. So 
yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice because i know some of you mentioned your starting keto um this week so yeah if you enjoy a certain type of food just google a way a different way to make it that fits in to how you're eating i hope i've made sense i feel like i've just totally confused the whole world right now i brought some um like raspberry drinks Ooh, on the weekend these ones i don't know if you guys remember they're an all natural well it's made of sparkling water but I'm just going to call it a soft drink. Most of you guys know I don't drink like Diet Coke or um, like regular soft drink. I haven't really had a full can or full bottle of soft drink in about three or four years. So I'm going strong. I have had a bit of Diet Lemonade in a cocktail, but I haven't had like just a... Um, just like a whole can you you guys know what i mean so yeah, when i saw, saw these in woolies i got really excited um because they're all natural they've got the sugar free and they've, they're made from yeah all natural ingredients so i just thought these would be really nice to have on like a hot summer's day so i thought i'd better buy some and see what they taste like <laughs> so i i'm gonna give one a taste now and let you guys know if they're any good <laughs> It tastes like um, red creaming soda. It tastes really nice, very raspberry. Oh, it's really, I know I'm pulling a weird face, but it does, it tastes really nice. I'm just getting dinner ready for tonight. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm making chicken schnitzels. <laughs> um, so I've just got some chicken breast that I've like slice through the middle I was going to bang them with a rolling pin and like get them quite thin but I can't find my rolling pin so I think I'm just gonna leave them like that <laughs> um, so then in here I just I just have one egg and some cream I'm just gonna whisk those together and then this is the LSA mix and I also added some smoky smoked paprika sorry to it and salt and pepper and I'm just going to mix that all around and then if you guys know the drill <laughs> just dip the chicken in the egg mixture and then into the seasoning coating stuff and I'm still trying to decide if I should just bake them or fry them they always turn out better when you fry them don't they it's just easier putting them in the oven though isn't it I think I'll fry them. Don't be lazy, Michelle. I'll fry them. I'll fry them. I changed my mind. I'm going to fry them just to get them nice and brown and crispy. And then I'm going to put them in the oven and bake them for like 15 minutes just to cook them through. I'm just getting the veggies ready as well so this is just this stuff rainbow coleslaw it's just um, shredded carrot beetroot and broccoli and I just mixed in a little bit of mayonnaise so it's a little bit like a coleslaw and then added salt and pepper and then I've never tried this before but <laughs> we'll find out if it works this is just broccoli and I've cubed up a little bit of Philadelphia cheese and just put that in as well. And then I'm just going to cover it with cling film and put it in the microwave for about two minutes. I'm hoping the Philly cheese kind of goes a little bit gooey. But I don't know if it will, but we'll see. <laughs> it didn't really melt as much as I wanted it to, but it's gone nice and gooey. Um, and that's how the chickens turned out. Oh, there you go. That looks fantastic. Better. I'm done. <laughs> that my artistic touch. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's gorgeous. 
What about all my ribbons? <laughs> that go? Proper coat top. Yeah, I think it's quite classic. What do you think? Do you love it? I love it. I'm just watching The Real Housewives of Cheshire and her husband just bought a brand new Range Rover. How nice. <laughs> it's my bedtime nearly, so I am going to end the vlog here for tonight. But I hope you've all enjoyed it once again. I sound, I feel like I say the same thing every night. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. And I will see you all again tomorrow.